Hello and welcome to Midspace. In this short video, we're going to look at how you can set up a paper for a video submission. To start with, we're going to go into the content and create a new paper. We're going to find that paper in the list. I'm going to start by linking a program person to it. You can do a lot of this using the import template, but I'm just showing it being done manually here. So I'm going to pick myself from the list and set myself self as an author. Now that I've done that, we can see that I'm in the list of people. Next, I'm going to add a video file element. And now that I've added a video, I can see it's of type video file, and I'm just going to name it something such as presentation. This will help authors understand what it is they're being asked to upload. The remaining options I can leave unchanged. Authors will have three attempts to upload their video, after which they should contact the organizers because it indicates that they're probably having issues and need some assistance. Now that I've set up this paper, I'm going to filter to the one I want, and I'm going to send submission requests. I could do this for all content or just for content within a particular tag. In this case, I'm going to select an individual paper and then click send. When I click the send submission request button, I'm given the options as to who I want to send to and what template I want to use. In this case, I'm going to use unsubmitted only for files that have yet to be submitted. First requests only allows you to choose between sending reminders or sending just the initial requests. This is helpful if you've added new elements uh, that have yet to be requested from people. I'm going to leave it at the default roles because I listed myself as an author and I can see the item. The template contains the standard format that we have with the links to the resources for how to do the upload. You can customize this template. For example, you may want to add information about a submission deadline, the length of the video, or the purpose of the video. This also is used for other kinds of submissions, uh, such as images, uh, text, PDF files, anything else that's being requested. So I'm going to click Send. Requests are now on their way. We're going to have to wait a minute for the email to arrive in our inbox. While we do so, I'm going to show you how you can also send the link to an author manually if they've lost their upload link. By going back to the management dashboard and looking at program people, I can filter down to the person I'm looking for, scroll across, and there's their submission, their magic code. By clicking copy link, I get a full link to the submission path. This is a magic link. They don't need to be logged in to be able to do their submission. Here we can see the submission request email that I just sent. As we can see, it has a bit of formatting around it, and here's the body contents uh, that I provided. The link for submitting is the same as the one I just copied out of the management dashboard, and it takes me through to the same page. Here I see a list of the links for the papers, posters, or other content items that I'm being asked to submit content for. I can click on one, and now I'm shown the elements that I'm being requested for that particular item. In this case, it's just a video. So I'm going to click submit my video. And at this point, I can use the video submission process as outlined in Midspace's resources documentation. When a video is submitted, authors are emailed to tell them that it's been received and being processed. As an organizer, you can also go back into your management dashboard, go into the content, and review submissions at any time. Here you can see ones that have no people yet to be requested, awaiting submission, or ones with submissions received. 